Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm straightening my hair because I wanna feel a little bit more put together today. Let's get ready for the day. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Good morning. That's my look. Take it or leave it. I'm gonna wear my hair down, but I always bring a clock clip to work in case I need to throw it up and do something. My job is pretty diverse. I'll talk to you guys about that during the workday, probably at lunch, but I do a lot of different functions at my job that I don't talk about or show, so I'm excited to show that to you today. Vinny, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi to the vlog. I'm gonna make my bed really quickly. I don't normally make my bed. Ooh, that's crooked, but I feel like I should make it today for you guys. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's good enough. Who cares? Okay, so here's my outfit of the day. I got this shirt recently from Princess Polly. I was browsing their website and I saw this and I thought it was so groovy and I'm so into like the 70s and the 80s right now. So I had to pick it up. Like I purchased it immediately and I'm wearing it with my high-waisted J. Crew pants, my little black belt from Target and my Target mules. Ooh. I have this beige belt that I think would look cute. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Okay, I changed the belt to this beige one and it looks so much better. It matches with my shoes. You guys know I've been trying to take it up a notch with my style and with my fashion, especially at work. That's where we spend the majority of our days and I wanna feel good and look good at work and not just on the weekends. We need to stop living for the weekend, you guys. We work, if you work five days a week, that's a lot of our time and we need to be satisfied and be fulfilled and look good okay not just on the weekends guys <laughs> i'm such a hypocrite because half the days i'll just throw my hair up in a bun and like wear a company polo and not even care but today's not that day okay i'm gonna make my bagel i've been really into bagels lately hi if you saw my last vlog, I got a new couch from West Elm and I'm freaking obsessed with it, you guys. It's so good. Excuse me, you're in my way. Hey. So yeah, here's the new couch. This ottoman, I'm not sure if I like it. I, I think I want something a little bit lighter because it's too dark with the couch, but yeah, we're freaking obsessed with it. Are you happy? She loves it too. Okay. You love it, don't you? Yeah? So I put ice in this at home. This is my Yeti, but I won't fill it up until I get to work because if I fill it up now with our warm water, the ice will melt. But we have a water system at work that gives cold water, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have allergies, you guys. I think I'm allergic to Vinny. And then I have my bagel. I just wrap it in an old Chipotle napkin and I put butter on it. This is my work food thing. I'm also gonna grab a Bilt Bar. I wanna try a flavor that I haven't tried yet. Ooh, I'm gonna try the peanut butter brownie. I'm also gonna bring a banana because I get pretty hungry in the afternoon. So yeah, that's my work snack slash breakfast situation. And then I try to drink at least three of these a day. I start work at 8 a.m. and the first thing I do is eat my bagel while checking my emails and opening Skype and Teams and all of my other programs. The next thing I do is my to-do list and I've been loving the circle method, which is where I circle the things that absolutely need to be done today and then I highlight them when they're complete. The next thing I do every single morning is put on my Felix Grey blue light glasses. You guys know I'm obsessed with these glasses. Felix Grey makes the absolute best blue light glasses. I'm freaking obsessed with them and you guys probably see me wearing them in every single video. That's how much I love them. Our eyes were not meant to stare at screens that emit blue light all day. Most clear blue light lenses filter only 2-3% to of the blue light and Felix Grey filters 15 times more. What I especially love about these glasses is that they're completely clear. Other cheap blue light glasses have have this yellow tint to them that is super unattractive and it makes everything look super yellow which I hate but that's not the case with Felix Grey they're absolutely clear and no one will be able to tell that they're actually blue light filters
filtering. My frames are the Faraday style in the color Panorama. So make sure to check out the link in the description of this video to get your very own pair of Felix Grey glasses. Okay guys, so this morning I'm working on several things. The first thing I'm gonna do is check our pay applications for the month. So we have four current projects that we're working on and with larger construction projects, you're only allowed to bill once a month and it's called a pay application. So basically you have to project how much you're gonna complete for the entire month and then you bill accordingly. So if a building has 100 units and you're working on level 15 and you think that you're gonna be done with level 15 by the end of the current month, you can go ahead and bill for that in advance since you only bill once a month. So I'm just reviewing our current pay applications for the month and making sure that all the information is correct and then i have to go ahead and enter that as an invoice into quickbooks which is our accounting software and make sure that we collect that payment in a timely manner usually it's about 90 days unfortunately so it's basically a huge excel sheet i have to type in what item and what unit we completed the work in and i have to build a percentage of completion for each item so for example unit 1501 we're 100 percent done on the floors but unit 1502, we're only 80% done on the floors, 50% done on the walls, and 12% done on the countertops. So I have to do that for every single unit. It takes a little bit of time, especially for all the projects that we have going on, but it's super important to be accurate so that we don't get the kickback and say, hey, delete that because you did not finish that or you're definitely not gonna finish that by the end of the month. <sighs> so yeah, that's my first task. Okay guys, I just finished reviewing the pay applications and everything is entered and good to go and now i'm going to start on more change orders i have my building matrix over here and each here each rectangle represents a unit and we have two towers two main towers going on we have hundreds and hundreds of units and each unit gets to choose from like 30 different types of stone so i have to make sure that i capture all of those changes and build them via a change order what we use is plan swift which allows you to do a takeoff of any area so this family room for example is 222 square feet and it's actually kind of fun here's a little bathroom as an example it really takes one person one dedicated person which right now is myself i'm the change order queen i like to call myself <laughs> to um make sure you capture all the changes guys because if you don't capture a change that's money lost and we don't want that so i'll send them the change order they'll go ahead and say yes this is approved they sign off i can then add that change order to my pay application and make sure we bill for that in the next month part of my job is making sure that okay 1501 unit 1501 wants the white marble instead of the brown marble right i have to make sure that we have enough of the white marble to accommodate that request and with hundreds of units and hundreds of changes it can be a little bit chaotic that's kind of the gist of what i do i circled the ones i want to do i already did 1501 actually and i have to do 2701 and what is that 2502 those are the three that i want to tackle today but let's get to it okay so i'm gonna cross off the things that i already did had to pay this little invoice here i do some accounting stuff too which i'm going to talk to you guys about at my lunch break just to kind of explain why i have to do so many different things and like all that and then i did 2701 so now i'm going to take a break go pick up my food for lunch and then we'll chat a little bit about my responsibilities oh my gosh what a busy morning you guys Thank you. Have a great one. Okay, what it is, what it is, guys, what it is. Still with me, guys? Guys, I got so many compliments on my shirt today, especially with my glasses. Everyone was like, ooh, looking good. I was like, thank you, thank you. I try. But yeah, I just wanted to chat a little bit about my job specifically. Let me lock my doors. So I work in the construction industry, obviously, and it's a very tough 
industry to be in, let alone to be in a medium to small sized company. We range between 60 to 65, sometimes 70 employees at the company. And then on top of that, we have anywhere between 100 to 200 subcontractors who are working on the job site for us that we pay. So it's a lot. Let me back up a little bit. So I went to college at the University of Florida and I majored in finance. And originally I wanted to be a lawyer, but then I just fell in love with business as a whole. I decided to join the family company and work in the accounting department at the company. So I was in the accounting department for about six or seven months or so. As soon as I got the swing of things, I kind of revamped the whole department because there were things that were being done that weren't up to the standards, I guess you could say. So I spent a lot of time in there reorganizing, setting up systems and structures. And then I hired a new team to come in and take that over so that I could transition into project work because project work is more exciting and it just like keeps you on your toes. So now I'm doing project work, which I talked about this morning. However, we are short one person in the accounting slash HR department. We hired that person like a couple months ago and they weren't a good fit. So now we're short one person. And I, of course, am the one that fills in because I've been there and I've done that and I have the experience. And so this morning I had to onboard a new employee and go over all the paperwork with them and so that took an hour out of my morning which obviously I couldn't film that <laughs> but yeah so it's been a little bit hectic lately but I actually thrive when it's busy I don't like having downtime I don't like having time to think and get bored because that's when my productivity starts to go down the drain so I guess you could say I'm the change order manager because any change that happens in the buildings I'm the one that has to price it and make sure we get paid for it which I guess kind of relates to accounting a little bit it requires a lot of industry knowledge that I've gained over the past couple of years so my degree is in finance but really <laughs> I should have majored in accounting or just like management in general because I feel like that's kind of more of what I do. Everything project related, I had to learn on the job. Even if I were to major in construction management, I feel like I would still have to learn most of the things on the job. And that's kind of with any career. But yeah, the construction industry is very cutthroat. It's very bullyish in nature. Enough talking, I'm gonna go back to the office and eat my lunch and relax for a couple minutes and then get right back into work. So I just got a Caesar salad because I'm not that hungry. So it's just a chicken Caesar salad. And I know I have my snacks to hold me over if I get hungry later. During my lunch break, I will usually I will usually check my email, my YouTube email to respond to any inquiries, inquiries, is that how you say it? and just like check up on my youtube channel respond to comments things like that i like to i read all of my comments you guys i read every single one i may not be able to respond to all of them but if you leave a comment i definitely see it so i like to read the comments and just like do my youtube stuff and then of course go on instagram see what people are doing what's the dealio what's happening today what am i missing so yeah i'm gonna do that I just finished my lunch. I am standing up for a little bit and stretching. Um, my back has been hurting. I'll talk to you guys about that at home, but that's a whole thing. I do have an office tour video. If you wanna see that video, I will link it down below. But I talk about where I get everything and off everything like that. I'm just gonna be working on more change orders this afternoon. Stand up for a little bit. This is my standing desk. I absolutely love it. Yeah, if you guys don't have a standing desk, what are you doing? You need to get one. They're a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it, you guys, because sitting in a chair all day, every day, is not good for our bodies or our backs. So I like to stand at least one hour a day. And sometimes I'll break that up, and sometimes I'll do more than one hour. So it really just depends how I'm feeling. But yeah, I'm gonna get started on my afternoon work and then see you guys at home. Have a good day. Yeah. 
Hi. What do you want to eat for dinner? What do you want to eat for dinner? Something good. I cooked the last, well, actually, AJ cooked yesterday. But I cooked Monday because um, I was editing yesterday. So today we're ordering food because I had a really hard day at work, you guys. Think about it while you shower. But you think about it too. Well, I'm vlogging. So they started kicking back some of my change orders today, which is always super frustrating. So basically our best interest is to invoice them via a change order anytime anything changes and their best interest is to not pay us for those changes obviously so they kicked back a bunch of them today saying oh this actually is not correct or send me the backup or did that really happen or where's the proof type of thing and so that's what i spent my afternoon doing it was actually really frustrating and stressful so that's what i mean when i say the construction industry is very challenging it's normal for them to do this like i'm not saying that this is unusual but that's what i mean when i say everything is like no you're lying you're lying i never did that you never said that show me the proof where's the proof like <laughs> that type of stuff that's just really common in the industry yeah i had a really stressful day as you guys saw it's actually a perfect day to vlog because i feel like you got to see a good general overview of all the different types of stuff that i do tonight's meaningful task is movement not cooking i always alternate you guys know but in case you're new here i like to alternate between cooking and or working out sometimes i'll do both sometimes i'll do neither on a weeknight but i like to challenge myself to do at least one or the other every single day did you just bite my ankle that was rude Okay, I just changed. This is actually AJ's old Adidas shirt. That is kind of cute. I kind of like it. I feel like it looks cute for workouts. And then I have my Lulu leggings because I think I'm going to do a little stretching session as opposed to like a hardcore workout. I just need to talk for a little bit. Then I'll be done. I recently injured my back. If you saw my morning routine video, I squatted really heavy, heavier than I've done since college because I was trying to push myself to achieve a certain goal. And you guys, that was not a good decision. My back is hating me for it. Um, I'm having really intense lower back pain. I had a really bad episode a couple nights ago where I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital because my back was just spazzing out. After my episode, I'm still feeling a little bit tight and uncomfortable. Like I can tell anytime I move, my back is like, uh, don't do that, don't do that. So I'm gonna do a little stretching session. Just take it really easy, but I still wanna get some type of movement, movement in today. Am I talking really fast? Vinny, am I talking really fast? I'm having a little bit of stress right now just because of the whole change order situation so i feel like this will be good for me to decompress after work and just kind of take my mind off of work mode and then um, hopefully have a relaxing night do you want to stretch with me no i'm talking to Minnie. <laughs> To work i wasn't able to get it all done at lunch today because i had a crazy day so i'm gonna do that because today's wednesday and i have a video going live on thursdays i post on thursdays and on mondays so i'm going to try to be productive until dinner gets here then we'll eat dinner i'll shower and then after i shower it'll just be time to relax tell them I'll show you guys, someone left mangoes on my desk. I'm not sure who left these on my desk, but that's awesome. So we have two huge mangoes. 
to eat. Look how big these are, guys. These are Florida grown, homegrown mangoes from someone's backyard. Hey guys, dinner has arrived. We got burger fry. We got a bunch of fries. They always give you a bunch of fries, so we always just share. Not that we ever go to burger fry. What am I saying? I think I just got a regular double cheeseburger. And I had a salad for lunch, you guys, so this is fine. That's fine. What'd you get? Bacon? No, that's yours. Vinny always lays right there when we're eating. Okay, we are all fed and showered. I didn't wash my hair today. I feel like I always have to say that. Otherwise, everyone's like, ew, she doesn't shower. <laughs> but I do. We're gonna watch Handmaid's Tale. That's my absolute favorite show. I'm on season four, episode 10, and I'm so sad because it's almost over. So me and Vinny are gonna watch that. Look who it is. Look who it is in her cat tree. You are so cute. Ow. You are so rude. Look at you. Oh. 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 Okay, I just finished an episode of The Handmaid's Tale. Um, AJ passed out on the couch, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. I have the door closed. Guys, that is the best show ever. Although, I will say I don't support re revenge in the form of murder. I don't support that. However, the show is really good. <laughs> Um, it's only 8.20, but I think I'm going to do a little devotional because I didn't read my Bible this morning. Bible. So I'm going to do that now. Anyways, I'm doing a giveaway over on my Instagram with seven other of my friends here on YouTube. And we're giving away a new Nespresso machine with the milk frother and with a sample pack of pods. So if you're interested in getting a free Nespresso machine, all you have to do is follow the seven other girls that are linked in the description here. You have to follow them on YouTube and on Instagram. And then you just have to leave a comment either on this video or my Instagram post letting me know that you entered. I read all of my comments, so you your comment won't be missed. If you're watching this video the day that I post it, it's July 8th, 2021, and it's the last day to enter. So make sure you follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with any future giveaways. You guys know I like to do giveaways all the time. It applies only to US and Canada, so keep that in mind. The winner will be announced on July 9th. It was. <laughs> make sure you guys check out felix gray in the description below i would work with them every video if i could because i love their blue light glasses so much you want to say goodbye say goodbye when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done